So here is a map of Costa Rica that shows the amount of days with some rain. Um, you can see the differences, major differences between the Pacific and the Atlantic. So let's zoom up and have a close look. Okay, here we go. You can see that on the Pacific of northern Costa Rica, you've got massive differences in re uh, relative to the Atlantic side, where the Atlantic side has roughly on majority about 62% of days with rain, you have pretty much uh, about a third of that, or definitely less than half of that in the, on the Pacific. And um, you're looking at less than 27% uh, of the days have some rain. Now, I see this as an advantage in general, the uh, Pacific climate, because you are actually able to get more sunshine um, in the day, and as well, you'll have more days with complete sun or a little bit of clouds, and um, you'll have just basically more, more hours in the day, in sun and more days with no rain that's a big plus up to the point like of course if we were talking about like desert climate then definitely no but still this region even in the yellow has enough um, rain for it to be classified as tropical climate so you can see this profound change it's predominantly due to mountains that are on the border of the uh, yellow and then the blue region. There is a mountain range that runs through the center line of Costa Rica. And um, you can see how the Nicoya Peninsula, which is that peninsula in the yellow um, that sticks out from the mainland of Costa Rica, how that is actually classified as a blue zone on Earth. It uh, you can you can clearly see massive climatic differences. So you're gonna have wonderful temperature with obviously lower amount of precipitation, which typically humans do not enjoy. I found that in my health research that a little bit of rain is good. But most people do not thrive in rainy, humid. Think about it this way. If you have 30 degree temperatures during the day, would you like it to be humid? Or would you like it to be relatively dry? I think most people can tolerate dry. And your bedding and sheets and clothing will dry nice and dry. And uh, you won't have that mugginess. You won't have as much problem with having mildew and mold in your closets and underneath your bed. And uh, in your clothing too, possibly. Um, and you're just, your mood is going to be better. You're going to have like more sunnier, happier mood. Um, it is... It is clear reason like when I when I watched this uh, when I first found this uh, map of course it, this map is uh, edited by me well edited I mean the, uh, the percentages are um, done by me I, what I did is uh, I percentage I, I made everything into percentages uh, typically this map is in days versus uh, uh, the total amount of days but it makes it more clearer to see the percentage, um, to see how what what do they mean when it's less than a hundred days um, of um, rain in a day, or days of rain in a year. So here you can see how the capital is perfectly situated. It just you can see it in the center, in the lower center where the yellow region extends into the central part of Costa Rica and you can see how beautifully you have even two little regions which have complete 
um, yellow region, um, which is a 27% range, but the 35% is still good. And um, this whole San Jose region, where they call it the Central Valley, has more sunshine and it has less days with uh, rain and it has nice elevation so you have the break between the um, or break from the hot 30 degree weather you have more like in the high 20s um, mid to high 20s uh, typically and if it wasn't for the density of people and the contamination it would have been nice region to live in however I would not recommend that for myself um, it's just too populated and I would uh, definitely get out from the central region central valley um, at least go to the outskirts of it anyways but you can see how the uh, central valley is surrounded by two little purple areas which have 90 percent of the days are have some precipitation and that's basically mountains there they've got uh, moisture is pressed against them and uh, you've got massive frequent frequent rains basically and um, this is where Lauren Lockman has his center is in the Nicoya Peninsula where it's nice and yellow and it's um, basically it's located uh, close to that um, Gulf of Nicoya um, we can talk about that in some other topic but uh, the next region I'd like you to look at is the southern part let's look at the southern part of Costa Rica here it is so this is the southern part of Costa Rica and uh, you can see how you have Panama to the east and then you have the Atlantic to the uh, northeast kind of and um, Pacific is on the south south uh, west and um, you're looking at significantly more moist uh, climate on the Pacific as well. However, it's only in the 50 percentile, which is not too bad. It's a nice moderate amount. Um, you do have a little bit of 35 percent on the uh, central Pacific region, um, basically near Hako and near uh, the uh, Kepos is already 50%. Um, you've got some regions which are 35%, little bubbles of uh, 35%, which means that 35% of days are going to have some precipitation. Um, in the regions near the uh, Golfito, that uh, little uh, inland uh, inlet um, on the south part of Costa Rica the very south region you can see how it's 62% 75% and 50% um, at least um, there's a little part with 35 but other than that little part you're looking at a fair bit of days with extended with basically lots of days with some rain and um, I've driven through this uh, region where it says 35% in the on the south just just south of dead center south and a little bit to the uh, right you see that big region with 35% and papayas grow pretty well in that region <laughs> when I went with my uh, ex-girlfriend we were like uh, harvesting like typically about 12, 15 papayas just in a little drive like uh, 50, 60, 70 kilometers or so. Uh, but anyways, uh, you're looking at 
much wetter region. It is closer to the equator, which uh, does play a role. Um, and as well, uh, this region is uh, hit by the fact that when the solar equator goes north of the um, Costa Rica, then on its way back down in September and October, you get massive rain in the South Pacific. You get hit by literally by six weeks of uh, heavy rains, just like you wouldn't believe. Like not not the most pleasant time of the year to be in the South Pacific or even. Um, perhaps in the central regions because this map shows you the average yearly um, days the percentage of days with precipitation of course this numbers may may be skewed because you're looking at during the dry season you might have let's say the 27 percent range which there's almost no 27 percent range in the south a region here except in the Nicoya Peninsula which you can see on the extreme top left but in those dry sea in during the dry season it's not even 27 percent of the days with uh, with uh, no precipitation I've even been in the South Pacific and we basically had maybe two three four percent of the days with some precipitation and the reason is because this is the average during the rainy season you'll get more than 50 percent say in the 50 percent uh, regions you'll get more than 50 percent of the days with some precipitation and in the drier regions you'll get significantly lower so this just shows you on average if you were to add up all the days in a year how many days have rain um some rain um you can see there's a region 90 percent um, in kind of the north central part um, that's definitely not the, not the nicest place to be in now however it does have a unique climate and something definitely to make a day trip or a weekend trip and to check out but anyways if I was getting um, a property I would definitely consider to get the property in the 50 percentile range or 35 would be even better um, the 50 percentile just uh, there's gonna be some benefits to it it's gonna be more gr green more lush it's gonna stay longer green and just more vegetation and more animals more acoustics from the jungle so you, you get kind of a trade-off but uh, don't get me wrong basically almost anywhere you are in Costa Rica you're gonna get some wonderful acoustics uh, from nature and uh, yeah anyways hope this map map helps you and you can see that uh, basically Costa Rica is uh, ranging from uh, about uh, eight percent or i mean uh eight degrees north of the equator to about 11 degrees north of the equator you can see this by the uh, first page where the first map goes um, it shows you the very top and the bottom of costa rica and it's, it's basically approximately eight to eleven degrees north